What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Mark Show. It is time for another episode of Popology Mixed Bag, where I show you guys my pops I picked up for the previous month. Being it's now the month of July, which is crazy because the month of the year is halfway over, what you see in front of you is part one of this video that my June pick up a Funko Pop. So, yes, these are the ones I picked up for the month of June. So, to let you guys know if you guys are interested in buying these pops, I will put the links in the description below. If you don't want to, don't want to hear me ramble about these pops and go right to what they look like up close, go ahead and click on the chapters. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's, let's talk about these pops real fast. So yeah, like I said, these are the ones I picked up the month of June. This is pretty much half of them right here. So from Entertainment Earth, this awesome X-Men um, first issue of Wolverine. This looks pretty awesome. Pretty cool. I've seen people a lot of times take this, uh, these pop covers and post them or put them on the wall because you can hang them up. Me, I'm, I just keep them on the shelf kind of deal. So, but yes, he looks pretty cool. Um, I talked to uh, me and a friend of mine got the same pop, and we was talking about he technically should be turned because in the comic, as you guys see here, he's looking away, not forward. So this little little thing that he should just be looking toward the corner here. To me, I think it'd be awesome. Of course, next pop, Chuck E. Cheese. So I grew up in the showbiz era of, you know, of places like this. So showbiz was my shit back in the day. Then showbiz got rebranded to Chuck E. Cheese. And you know something? Looks pretty good. And don't nobody tell you different. Chuck E. Cheese pizza is really good. We can debate this in the comments you like, but I promise you, Chuck E. Cheese pizza is good. It's also a pretty cool pop too as well. So, awesome stuff. You know something? I'd be cool. I just thought about it. If they did the band of Chuck E. Cheese, it's Funko Pops. Or the pop set, like, where you can actually take them and put them together. Uh, I guess that would be a, maybe like a moment, I guess, kind of deal. But actually take the actual band and put them in separate uh, Funko Pops and you can put them together to make the band. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Next. So if you guys haven't seen the movie Cocaine Bear, I don't know what the hell you're doing with your life. That movie's hilarious. I promise you. And at some point in the movie, you will root for the bear. Just, just let me know now. So yes, here's here, the bear with the bag of cocaine. So kids, don't do drugs. To PSA, just don't do it, okay? Adults, don't do drugs too. Fuck that. Adults, stop using, don't, don't do cocaine. Don't do any kind of drug. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, come on, do better with yourself. Just do better. But he looks pretty awesome. It would have been better, honestly, if he was flopped. I think he would have been pretty cool if he was flopped. But overall, pretty awesome pop here. But like I said, the movie, I've never seen it yet. It's hilarious. It really is funny. And the one I got, the most recent one I got of all these is the 7 Eleven Slurpee. So these just not hitting, are, are hitting 7 Eleven as we speak. So his is the, um, I don't know, if, I guess you'd be a, a, a great slur uh, Slurpee, I guess, with the neon green Ashley Cup. It was pretty awesome. Uh, I think this, this is the second year in a row they've done Slurpee Pops. Last year they did Diamond version. And this year it's just more of a neon color. But it was pretty awesome. So the Grape Slurpee. Another thing it would be pretty cool if this was uh, scented. So you actually just smell it. See? Funko, I'm giving you ideas. Just go with it. Next, got the man himself, Lex Luthor. So Funko Shop uh, exclusive. So pretty much, I think this is the comic book or cartoon version of him from back in the day. He looks pretty awesome, in my opinion. Uh, I'm surprised they don't like to do a, like a glow in the dark version of this one. Maybe his gloves glow, or his belt, or his uh, uh, I guess only called suspenders, but his chest portion of it that would glow. That'd be pretty cool. So. And he's flying, so he is on the stand. So when you do a close up, you may see the stand. That's pretty awesome. Last but not least is Red Hood GameStop exclusive Black Light. He looks pretty awesome. So out of all the other ones, I think this probably one looked the best. So I never played the game. I haven't heard good or bad things about the game. You know, to me, you have a game of where Batman dies, you gotta play as pretty much the sidekicks. Not my thing, not my cup of tea, sorry. Not my thing. 
all the other Batman games, Arkham Asylum, uh, and other ones, uh, pretty awesome. But yeah, from the uh, Gotham Knights video game, Ray Hood, I said he pretty, was pretty cool in the black light. They did pretty awesome of the color scheme on him, when it, you know, like having the purple on the more shallower parts. So it was pretty cool. So yeah, so this is it. Here's the first, uh, the first, um, wow. I can't, I can't talk, can't talk right now. First six of my photo posts I picked up for the month of June. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at June's Funko Pops. Well, guys, what do you think? What's on your favorite? Comment below, let me know your thoughts. And that's it for today's video. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up if you see the screen right now. Don't forget to like and share with other people. And then next week, you will have part two of my June pickups. So, that's it. That's it. And my baby Zoe. We'll see you next time. Peace.